Hey everyone, what's up? Today I'll be showing you an indispensable tool for any IT professional. The last boot device you'll ever need, the IOD 2531 drive. So you're probably wondering just what the heck this thing actually does. Well essentially if you've ever been out and about and you needed to boot into something else, whether that be Linux, a partition editor, a cloning utility, whatever, your Windows installers, you probably have a bunch of flash drives lying around in your pocket with each one being a separate bootable device. Well the beauty of this thing is that it actually replaces all of those by emulating an optical drive. All you have to do is load your ISOs into a folder, select them with the jog wheel on the display, and then it instantly shows up as an optical drive on the machine as a bootable device. So the nitty gritty specs on the device are, it supports SATA 3 speeds, 2.5 inch laptop hard drives, or SSDs, and it has a type B USB 3 connector on the top. That's not quite a deal breaker for me, but I would really love to see a type C refresh, not necessarily for speed purposes, but to actually support the new I.O. that's coming out and so I don't need a dongle to go backwards to legacy support. So it's actually much nicer than most hard drive enclosures I've used. It's some sort of machined aluminum. You have the IOD logo on the front and the back. You have one button to go up in the menus, a jog wheel to actually select the files and navigate through folders, small LCD display, and the LED indicator actually tells you what transfer speed you're using. So if it's blue, it's USB 3. If it's white, it's USB 2, which is actually a nice little addition. So you're probably asking yourself why I just don't use the software version of this, or a flash drive with a multi-boot utility on it, for instance. Uh, there's three key reasons. Number one, modularity. You can always upgrade this to bigger storage or faster storage. You can go from a hard drive to an SSD or whatever really suits your needs. Uh, number two is ease of use. You throw your ISO folders in there, that's it. You're done. No menu configurations, no messing with grub, no having to read a long tutorial on how to get specialized file types working. And number three is that out of the box, it actually supports quite a lot. Um, not just ISO, but VHDs, uh, .img files, things like that. And the good thing about that is you can actually use Windows to go distributions, or you can even uh, set up non-traditional file types, for instance. I have mine with both Mac and Windows installers because you can use the uh, HFS format on here with a VHD file, or you can set up a VHD with NTFS and carry around a copy of Windows, or you can set up your Linux distribution, which would also store data as you go along. <laughs> 